Welcome to another video from explainingthefuture.com. This time I'm going to highlight 25 future challenges and new technologies. This will enable me to paint a big picture of tomorrow and to show you how many future developments will interrelate. The first five things we need to know about the future all concern the Earth and its resources. Top of the list, we are fast approaching peak oil, after which oil production will start to decline. Estimates vary for exactly when supplies of oil will cease to meet demand. However, it may well occur before 2020. Another widely known future challenge is climate change. Even if drastic action is taken, some degree of global warming is now baked in to our planetary system. And even if this is limited to just 2 degrees centigrade, the result will be increased flooding, falling agricultural yields and the extinction of many species. A third resource challenge is then peak water. Due to climate change and our growing population, within decades fresh water will be scarce in many parts of the world. Indeed, the United Nations believes that by 2025, two-thirds of the world's population will face stressed or restricted fresh water supplies. Partially as a result of peak oil, climate change and peak water, there will increasingly also be food shortages. Already, global harvests are being reduced due to freak weather, rising temperatures, a lack of water and soil erosion. To make matters worse, fish stocks are also massively depleted, with our current colour of the oceans completely unsustainable. Beyond future shortages of oil, water and food, we also face broader resource depletion. Not least, many precious metals and minerals will be scarce well before 2050. We therefore need to start achieving more with less. Although we face many future challenges, they will also drive new opportunities. For example, in the face of diminishing resources and rising transportation costs, we will start to use 3D printing to manufacture only those items we require on a local basis and with low materials wastage. Nanotechnology will also help us to manufacture things in new ways, to improve material properties and to rise to many future challenges. For example, in response to climate change, nanotechnology may help us to build vast solar sails to stop the Earth receiving so much solar radiation. To combat food shortages, genetic modification will help to raise agricultural yields and to make species resistant to climate change. Many people may still object to GM crops, let alone future GM animals. However, the only alternative to their widespread use is likely to be mass starvation. Another key future technology will be synthetic biology. This involves the radical design of existing plants animals and microorganisms, and even the creation of entirely new living things. To this end, synthetic biologists are already engineering E. coli bacteria to synthesise new bioplastics and biofuels. Some of our future food and other organic produce is also likely to be grown in vertical farms. These will allow harvests to be reaped close to their point of consumption and may reconnect city dwellers with the natural world.
As oil becomes more scarce and more expensive, so electric vehicles will have to become the norm. Indeed, by 2015, most major manufacturers will be selling electric cars, with new battery and battery swap technologies set to significantly extend their range. To wean humanity off fossil fuels, major developments are already taking place in wind and wave power. By the end of 2012, around 3% of the world's energy will come from wind turbines, with many large wave farms also completed or under construction. In the future, we will also increasingly rely on solar energy. The US Solar Energy Technologies Programme is working to make photovoltaic solar power as cost-effective as fossil fuels by 2015. Meanwhile, the European Photovoltaic Industry Association believes that solar energy could provide 12% of the European Union's electricity by 2020. In time, we could also generate electricity from nuclear fusion. This releases energy by fusing together nuclear fuels under extreme conditions and could be safer than current nuclear fission power stations. To advance research, the International Thermonuclear Experimental Reactor is currently being constructed in southern France and is due for completion by 2017. Looking further ahead, we will have to obtain fresh resources from space. Commercial space travel will therefore be required to enable us to mine the Moon or asteroids. NASA is currently sponsoring several private space initiatives, with SpaceX having already launched a private space capsule. Virgin Galactic will soon also be operating the world's first commercial space tourism service. Over the next few decades, computing will continue to transform our lives. For a start, cloud computing will become increasingly common, with more people accessing computing resources over the internet. Augmented reality is also likely to further develop, with smartphones, tablets and new kinds of eyewear able to superimpose sophisticated layers of data on our vision of the real world. Artificial intelligence is additionally likely to provide reliable language translation and vision recognition. AI developments will therefore remove language barriers, as well as allowing the development of sophisticated surveillance systems. In the future, every time you pass a camera, a computer is likely to know where you are. To meet future processing demands, quantum computing looks set to enter the mainstream. Quantum computers store and process information in quantum mechanical qubits and will be orders of magnitude more powerful than their microelectronic cousins. In May 2011, D-Wave Systems sold the first commercial quantum computer to Lockheed Martin. As artificial intelligence and computer power advance, so too will the application of robots. Already, there are over 8 million robots in the world, and by 2030 we could well be sharing the planet with 200 million far smarter machines. The key question is which human beings they will replace. While many future developments will change how we live, some will alter our very selves. For example, genetic medicine will help diagnose and cure many ailments. Parents will also increasingly be able to choose the genetic characteristics of their children. In parallel with genetic medicine, we will additionally start to repair and upgrade our bodies using bioprinting. Here, specialist 3D printers will output layers of cells to build artificial organs or even replace human tissue in situ. 
In time, this could lead to the use of bioprinters in cosmetic surgery. Significant opportunities for cybernetic enhancement are in parallel likely to arise. In 2011, the first commercial retinal implant went on sale, with primitive consumer brain interface hardware also on the market. Due to all of these developments, life extension technologies are likely to become big business. This could even extend to the injection of nanobots to repair and maintain the human body from the inside. In aggregate, new medical possibilities will fuel a growing philosophy known as transhumanism. This is the belief that we should take a proactive role in designing and upgrading the human species. In order to venture into space in search of new resources, it may also be essential for at least some people to cybernetically evolve. More information on 25 things you need to know about the future can be found in my book of the same title or on explainingthefuture.com. But now that's it for another video. And remember, the future is in your hands. Thank you.